Hello, everybody, and welcome to Stoked, the ultimate Star Trek online podcast. This is episode 121, and my name is Chris. Now, this is a very special, small episode this week. In fact, I didn't plan to have a release. If any of you eagle-eyed viewers stay tuned to the end of last week, Stoked, you'd know that we were taking this week off because the crew went up to Linux Fest Northwest for the Linux Action Show. But I did intend to have a Foundry Files for you this week. However... In my uh, mad starship cleanup operation, I accidentally threw this week's Foundry Files out the airlock. It's my bad. You can ask my wife. I do that kind of thing all the time. Uh, But I did want to take a brief moment and alert everyone to a security breach that Cryptic Studios suffered back in 2010. And uh, we will probably be talking about this on an upcoming episode. And as things would likely have it, we just recently covered password management tips for your Star Trek Online account. But I want to take a quick moment and say, if by chance you haven't done this yet, go change your password. This, this applies to people that uh, are had any troubles logging in, or if your account was created since December to or before 2010 of December. Um, now. What technically happened is kind of complex, but we did cover it in another show on the Jupiter Broadcasting Network that goes into a lot of these high-end systems networking kinds of things, and that's our TechSnap podcast. So if you go over to Jupiter Broadcasting, look for last week's episode of TechSnap. Uh, here, I'll pull it up while I talk about it. And uh, in that episode of TechSnap, we covered what we know that happened, what kind of questions we have, what kind of, what kind of actually, honestly, what kind of answers we'd like to see from Cryptic and, and all of those. So that was, uh, that was in TechSnap 55, so go check that out. Also, if you have password problems, and what I mean by that is if you're somebody who used your password for Stow, and it happens to be the same password you use for your email, or maybe it's the same password you use for a Twitter account or something like that, which is, you know, it's really common. A lot of people do that. I also want to point you towards another video that I've done. It's in-depth look, your last password. And it's a video I've done on password managers that help you generate unique and secure passwords for every different service you use. And that is such a great idea. I call that good password hygiene because what happens is if one of the places that you have your password at leaks, then the hackers and attackers have your password nearly everywhere. And that happened back uh, a couple of years ago when Gawker was hacked. I had an account there that I did use a password similar to other places. Now, thankfully, I didn't use that same password on my Gmail account, but it didn't stop the attackers who got the Gawker database from attempting to log in with my Gmail account using the password I used over at gizmodo.com. So they're smart. They know that you're likely to use the same password everywhere, and they will try popular services with your your email address and password combo. And those potentially were in the cryptic leak. We don't know exactly what the state of the passwords are, but we do know email addresses were leaked. So go change your passwords. If you haven't done it yet, consider changing your passwords on other services and consider checking out that video I did a while back on using LastPass to securely generate passwords for every unique service. Also, let me know uh, what you think of the current state of the game and where things are at and what's currently on your mind. We're about to introduce some new segments, and I want to get some of your thoughts going. And uh, I don't want to tell you all the details just yet, but you'll be hearing about them either on the next episode of Stoked or coming up shortly after that. And I think it's a new segment you're all going to enjoy. But I do also want to kind of prime the community feedback and see what everyone's thinking about the state of the game and where things are at and maybe what you hope and are expecting for Season 6. So email us, stoked at jupiterbroadcasting.com. All right, we'll be back next week with a full regular episode and have a great week.